and welcome to the association and calibration video for the 200 wireless gauge. Begin, open up wireless utility, and then press and hold this blue button on top of the gauge to put the gauge in setup mode. You'll know it's in setup mode when that green light starts to flash. Once the green light's flashing and wireless utility is open, press and release the blue button to send the information over to wireless utility. On your screen, you will get a crop progress bar, and then a message saying that the gauge is not associated. Click on OK and click on the green plus at the top of the screen. You get another progress bar and then a message that says the gauge is now associated. Click on OK. Then one more time, press and release the blue button to populate the gauge inside of the grid. Once the gauge is populated inside of the grid, you will notice that you see 200W instructions to the right of the current wireless gauges associated with the selected base unit. This is a quick start guide. If you click on it, it will open up and show you how to associate and calibrate your gauge. To enter the calibration screen, double click on the number 1 next to the gauge model 200. Give it a second and then the screen will go blank and a new screen will appear. This is your calibration screen. Here you can set any offsets, span, and your timeouts. You can also change the units of measurement from millimeters to inches. Turn audio on and off, which just means that when the gauge is in setup mode, it's constantly beeping. And invert the sign. If you don't like the way that the gauge reads, you can flip it upside down. To begin calibration, start by clicking on Cal Low. Then with the gauge completely extended, click on Sample on the screen. Cal High, completely compress the gauge, and click Sample again. For Cal Master, you will have your master block. Slide your gauge inside the master block and hold it down. Press Sample. Once it's mastered, your testing window should read zero. Then if you pull it out, you should see roughly five millimeters of travel each way. Now, to skip the high and low steps, you can simply come into the screen, place your gauge inside of the master block, then come to zero master. Then click on sample. This will automatically zero your gauge and avoid the steps of cal low and cal high. Once you're happy with calibration and your parameters are all set to where you want them, Click on the X at the top of the screen to close the window and save the calibration.